Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can repair Windows 10 using the automatic repair application. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so every time you turn on your machine, you, you might be getting this blue screen of death and you won't be able to boot to your desktop. You can click on advanced options and that will uh, launch the automatic repair application. Um, sometimes that doesn't load, it crashes. So what you can do is go to uh, Google, type in Windows 10 you're obviously going to have to do this on another machine that can get to the desktop um, download the tool uh, follow the steps to make a bootable USB or DVD um, you'll need to go into your BIOS and set the um, newly created USB or DVD as the primary boot device um, so just google how to do that and put the uh, disk into your machine and boot to it uh, you'll get an, a window like this so just click on next click on repair your computer okay so at this menu click on troubleshoot uh, the first thing I recommend you doing is run the startup repair um, so click on that application there it's then going to take you through a wizard asking you a few questions uh, just follow the prompts uh, what that's going to do is it's going to go through all of the Windows 10 files it uses to start up um, to the desktop it's going to fix any issues it will find um, so run that application and then uh, restart your machine so you can go back here and do continue it will boot to Windows 10 um, if it doesn't get to the desktop so if you get the same problem or maybe a different problem um, come back in here again go to troubleshoot go to the command prompt and type in this command uh, I'm going to put this command in the description of the video so you can easily see it in there as well uh, what that is doing is it's looking at your drive for any corrupt files if it finds them it'll automatically fix them so once that has finished if you just type in exit and again come into here and click on continue um, hopefully it will get to the desktop if it doesn't come back in here again click on troubleshoot click on command prompt we're now going to run two commands so it's boot rec space forward slash fix mbr so that's the master boot record so that is completed successfully you can see there it's, it says it's completed successfully the next thing we need to do is run another command that is boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd that's the boot configuration data for windows 10 again i'm going to put these two two commands in the description so you can easily get them and run them so uh, that that takes five minutes or so to complete so i'm just going to close that down so again type in exit hit enter come back into here click on continue and you should be able to boot to your desktop now if you've got any questions about this process please post them in a comment below and I'll help you out but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video